All right, here we are today, Belgrade Village. Pouring out behind, a little addition out behind this house. Not much room here, but just enough to squeeze the truck in. We got him in here, we had a little hole to go through. I'll show you the hole here. That's it right there. That's where we're gonna shoot through. 620 square feet up on the lake. Nice little job for a cold weather day. Hey guys, Mike here. So we got a really nice little 620 square foot addition we're pouring inside today. The temperatures outside are really cold. They're below freezing and we got really hot concrete today. So it's setting up fast on us. I want you guys to take a look at the slump right now and let me know when we get done at the end of the video how much you think the slump changed from when we started to when we ended. And this pour really only took us about 20 minutes or so 20 25 minutes to get this done so let me know that down in the comments i'm gonna let you guys listen in on on us here at work and uh we'll talk to you here in a little bit So the reason the reason this stuff is setting up so fast today is we got 160 degree hot water in the mix. Now, do you guys when you guys pour concrete, if you pour concrete, do you even know what the temperature of the hot water is? Does the batch man let you know? I mean, that really indicates to you what you can do as far as accelerators and how fast you need to pour and stuff like that. That's we we really like to know if it's 160, if it's 140, 120, 110. Um, and, and that'll dictate to us sometimes how much accelerator we put in. We're also using a 4,000 PSI mix with just straight cement. No fly ash, no slag. Fly ash and slag will actually slow down the set time. So you don't want to use that stuff in the winter if you don't have to. But we, And then we put a couple bags of flake cow on this. So we want to, there's very little heat in here. There is a little heater in here, but not much. So we want to make sure this stuff sets up good on us. And what, you know, 
So we're about 10 minutes into the pour already, and we can start feeling the slump change just by walking in it, by pulling it. So we want to try to get most of this down without having to add any more water if we can. Um, so that's the biggest challenge when we pour with especially water temperatures at 160 degrees. So what do you guys think? Do you see any change in it yet or not? All that fog or steam, whatever you want to call it, is from that hot concrete. You know, with 160 degree water in there, when they when they mix it in the drum, the concrete temps come out in the low 80s usually. So that's that's a big deal. If you know your temps are right around that 80 degree mark, then you know you really got to hustle. You're not going to have much time to get the concrete down before it's, the slump changes so much. It's going to be hard to screed. When the concrete temps are in the 70s, you know, or low 70s to 68, 72, then you you would have twice as long to work with this stuff. So we we actually have a, a infrared, uh, almost like a little gun that we check temperatures with. So we know we can tell just the pace that we have to pour with, and that helps a lot. So it's just hopefully that little tip will help you get one of those little infrared heater heater guns it, it, the, the Celsius or Fahrenheit will pop right up on it and that'll tell you just how fast you really need to work with this stuff So how much do you think the slump changed guys? I think we started out around a 7. Let me know what you think it is now or if you even think it changed at all. Do you think it's the same? But let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Come on back and we'll see you on the next one.